Hey guys, let me uh, let me show you what I got going on here. These are my batteries. Okay, we have battery one, battery two, battery three, battery four. There are six volt batteries. Okay, we have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive negative I've got I've got them flip-flop so I can make shorter cables okay battery one negative is wired to battery two positive okay so that takes these six volt batteries makes them a series of one 12 volt battery battery three and battery four the same thing negative on battery three to the positive on battery four that makes another series of 6 volts for one 12 volt. Voltage stays the same. Amp hours increases. Now, I have wired the positive of battery 1 to the positive of battery 3. The negative, of, which is behind the meter here, of battery 2 to the negative of battery 4. That should be my parallel. My series parallel, this will make all of these still 12 volt batteries, but the 12 volt current is running through the one cable, and what that does is increase the amp hours or the capacity that I can store, is my understanding. So, I believe I have these wired up correctly because according to my meter, battery 1, negative to positive, 6 volts. <clears throat> battery 1 and 2, which are wired in series, negative to, to positive. See, now that's a series, a 12 volt series. And the same thing with batteries 3 and 4 the negative to the positive 12 volts so my understanding is instead of now having four 6 volt batteries I have two 12 volt batteries with higher amp hours since I have them in parallel I have the positive of battery 1 wired to the positive of battery 3 the negative of battery 2 to the negative of battery 4. So, if I touch the positive of battery 1 to the negative of battery 4, I get 12.38 volts. So they're all still one 12 volt battery with a higher capacity. That's my understanding. The problem that I'm having and that what I don't understand is this is the negative cable to my inverter which is mounted to the top part of the shelf for this here shelves. When I touch it to the negative of battery 2 I get a little bit of a spark but nothing major. But when I touch it to the negative of battery Four. Oh, any good? It looks like this. Oh, now it's not doing it. It's not doing it now. It was sparking real big, huh? Well, I don't know. I think I just solved my own problem. It was, when I touched it, it was sparking a lot, and I couldn't figure out why. But it would seem now that the load, which is the inverter, is going to go from the positive of battery 1 to the negative of battery 4, which is really cool because 
that is how it's supposed to go. I had thought I had made a mistake in my wiring and I had checked it and double checked it and checked it and double checked it and triple checked it. But apparently I see things that aren't real, I guess. I don't know. But I am going to now hook the inverter, which is going to be called the load, to the negative terminal of battery 4. And we will see if I get that same spark again. Maybe I just, maybe I'm just a little paranoid. Maybe I'm just so worried about screwing it up. See that big old spark? Was I supposed to get that big old spark? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I just don't want to screw something up and blow it up because I've got you know some some investment in this. I don't want to screw it up, but it looks to be on and working. The inverter does. Well, maybe I was just being paranoid, y'all. But uh, like I say, I just don't I don't want to screw anything up. I want to make sure that I do it correctly when I do it. So, uh, any suggestions? Any comments? If I did it correctly, let me know. If I did it incorrectly, let me know. So that I can. Uh, make sure that I do this correctly. I don't want to screw something up. I don't want to blow it up or cause a fire or something like that. So, thanks for watching. Have a great evening. God bless in the end. Buzz buzz, the end.